Today's D&D Academia is about the legendary wondrous magic item, Sovereign Glue, and the Universal Solvent. These are consumable magic items, meaning that once all used up, it is gone for good unless more can be created or found. The information on these items can be found in your textbook, The Dungeon Master's Guide. The Sovereign Glue is a viscous, milky white substance that can form a permanent adhesive bond between any two objects. It must be stored in a jar or flask that has been coated inside with oil of slipperiness, which is an item we shall be going over in next week's episode. When found out in the world, a container of Sovereign Glue usually contains 1d6 plus 1 ounces. One ounce of the glue can cover a one-foot square surface. The glue takes one minute to set. Once it has done so, the bond it creates can be broken only by the application of the universal solvent, which is a tube that holds a milky liquid with a strong alcohol smell. You can use an action to pour the contents of the tube onto a surface within reach. The liquid instantly dissolves up to one square foot of adhesive it touches, including sovereign glue. You could also use the oil of etherealness, yet another magic item for a future episode. And last but certainly not least, you could use a wish spell to remove the glue. In case you are wondering, spells will also be coming to D&D Academia in the near future. I digress. Here are some ways to incorporate the glue into your game. Of course, as the DM, you could have a horrible trickster that has been gluing objects or even creatures together for their own amusement. There could be two individuals that were unfortunately put together and need the party's assistance to get the solvent or get revenge. Maybe an astounding magical item has been adhered to a place like the Sword in the Stone, and you watch the players take an eternity trying to figure out how to get it free. You could have placed a trap where all the players move forward into a space covered by the glue, and the solvent is found just to be out of reach, and now the stuck party must figure out how to get it. It could even be as simple as an individual needs the party's help and has now glued their hand to one of the players during a handshake and will only reveal the location of the solvent if they agree to help them. Now. As for a player who wields this mighty glue, perhaps you could stop an entrance or doorway from ever being opened again. It could be used to make sure an explosive will not get moved until you need to detonate it. You could attach many things together to climb up out of or down into certain locations. You could glue something to an immovable rod and then it's really not going to go anywhere. A trickster bard or some other trickster subclass could have an actual working finger trap, or they're just a really terrible person and they coat someone's armor, clothes, or items in the glue. There are definitely multiple uses for this item, including ones that are probably quite NSFW, uh, but I will leave that to your imagination. You are now aware of the magic items, the Sovereign Glue and the Universal Solvent. I don't see anyone doing so, but try to use these items wisely. This has been D&D Academia. See you all next time.